let's take a minor detour and head back to this hellish place and see if there was anything I missed here. This is a thing I didn't do last time. Holy fuck, look at this thing. Holy fuck. Whew, that was close. If I wanted Hugh to buff, for example, this. That would only require one. Does it only take one per level? Yep. Of each type? Yep. Oh, shit. I did just realize, as a result of the, uh, <laughs> the fact that the smithing stone, like... The somber smithing stones only require one to level up, whereas the regulars require 12 of each kind to level up. It's just so much easier to level up the regular fucking... The, the, the special items than it is to level up the regular items, which makes no sense. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're back. We're back into it. We're back into it. I can stop going on about smithing stones now. Oh, there is a glowing tree here. A candle tree. What is this? Examine the candle tree. Yes. Um, hello. What? 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 Hang on. Oh, we've got- Oh! We've got glowy footsteps! Okay, this is cool, this is cool! What is this? I've no idea where I'm going! Oh, look at this! Okay, this is an awesome mechanic. This hasn't come up before. Where's this guy leading me? Earthbore Cave. Okay. There's a bunch of just random mechanics for things that lead you to other places, which is really cool. Okay, if- See, I was about to say, if there's anything that's going to be a mimic, it's this. But no, it was just a different kind of trap. Interesting. Uh, does this go somewhere? It does. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, if this isn't a boss, I'm going to be quite surprised. Or at least a, a, a significant fight. Oh, is it just one of these? Oh. You're better than those things are fucking... I mean, they're tough, but, like, I've fought them before. Is, is it just the one? Looks like just the one. Oh! It's like a boss version. Holy shit, does it just have the same moveset? Boss Roomba, cool. Okay, it looks like it's the same moveset, yeah. That's the grab. Um. No, hang on, it has the same fucking health as well, right? Because they all had loads of health. So this is just exactly the same as all those enemies, but this one's a boss. Yeah. Remember how when I fought this thing I said it seems really tanky for an enemy that's not a boss? Comes back around, I think? Yeah, yep. it works a lot better. It works much better as a boss. Rip. Well, I mean, that was a straightforward boss fight. That enemy makes so much more sense as a boss. Oh my god, there's the magic talisman. <laughs> so, when I was discussing Renala with, with one of my friends, Will, who's been playing through Elden Ring, he mentioned that Renala was a lot more straightforward because he had the magic resist talisman. So Will has clearly been here. There we go. Look at that. That would have been useful before Renala, wouldn't it? Damn. Also, those enemies, they just make so much more sense for that to be a boss. I don't i don't know why they're just basic enemies out, out in the wilderness. Okay, so we murdered a pog bear. That was fun. And now I guess we just start heading... Because it looks like there's a split here, right? So we can either go down this path, pathway or we can go down this way. And this way is the way that the game is telling me to go. So I automatically want to go this way. So what's that? That's southwest. We want to head southwest. Oh, shit. Hello. You fucking weirdo. What's this that I'm looking at? This is the tower, right? The, the, the thing that requires wise beasts? No! No, this is a location I haven't found. What is this? Interesting. Okay, so this, Church of Pilgrimage, this is going to be another sacred tier then, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Yup, there we go. So these are always found in these kind of locations, in these big old churches. I need to probably light the bonfire, but I'm going to... Do some exploring first. Get myself a gilded iron shield, because why the fuck not? Oh, what is this? I've seen that on one of the loading screens. And also, this is a set of ruins. Tombswood ruins. Okay, so I've already been here. And this is... Did I do this ever, Joe? Oh! This is an ever jail that you need a stone sword key to activate. Okay, I haven't done this. Well, let's give this a go. And let's just hope that we're super overleveled. Or that this is that legendary mythical uh, NPC ever jail that is never gonna fucking show up. Ancient hero of Zamor. Okay, we're kind of over leveled. Based on that damage. Hmm, but he's a dodgy motherfucker. 
Yeah, you know what? I'll take that trade. Just don't do it again. That's phase two. Uh, but he's also not dodging, so, you know. At a certain point, you have to ask yourself the question, what the fuck is this guy doing? Nice blizzard. Well, that was the thing. I'm not even going to dodge. Radigan Scar Seal, Pog. So, sorry, let's just revise. I don't know if that was audible on the thing. You're saying that boss kicked your ass, did it, Duncan? Kicked my ass so much. <laughs> he just stopped dodging. When I thought he was going to dodge repeatedly, I was like, oh, this could... Okay, this is going to be a dodgy boss. This is going to be rough. Nope, he just stopped dodging. He, like, dodged twice in the entire fight, and then he just took the hits. What the fuck was that? Okay, well, that boss was uh, Fourth Church of America. Okay, so is this going to be another fucking sacred tier, then? It is. God damn. Wow, these churches are close together. That was an interesting detour. I'm finding so much shit. And I'm convinced I must be missing so much. Because I'm not... Normally when I'm playing Dark Souls, I will, like, comb the area, right? Yeah. I will go through each area, I will remember where I haven't been, etc. But this place is just huge. There's, there's no way to do that. Or at least I certainly can't. Oh, look at this thing. It's, that's what the bell is! That, that thing literally just has a crotch bell. That's, wow. I mean, literally, this guy just has a fucking bell between his legs, doesn't he? Is this an enemy? Surely not, right? It's just a giant walking bell. Can we get on top of it somehow? Okay, this really feels like Shadow of the Colossus right now. Riding around on a horse around this colossal stone creature that's just kind of ignoring me, looking for a way up. This is, this is just Shadow of the Colossus. Because my first thought was, does it get anywhere near, like, one of the walls or something so I could jump onto it? But that does not seem to be the case. Can I attack it? Oh! Oh! I, I can attack it. Okay. Whether it's a good idea, I don't know, but hey. That's what we're doing. Oh, hang on. What do I do? It seems like I broke something off. Is it these barnacles? Oh, these... The, it's got, like, weird skull bits on it. Let's break those. Let's break the skull bits. Because I don't think I'm attacking it. I think I might be, like... Helping it. I think these might be bad for it. Is it okay with me doing this? Seems... To, oh, maybe? Hard to tell. We smashed all the skulls off that foot. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, hang on. Whoa, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. It's coming down, it's coming down, it's coming down. Okay. Now we can get... Now we can get on it? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I can't believe that worked! I thought I, thought I was helping it, though. Maybe I wasn't helping it. Maybe I was killing it. Um, whoopsie. What is this? Oh, this is so cool. Examine remains. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? With the Remembrance Duplication menu, you can duplicate remembrances you've previously acquired. This includes remembrances from which you've already drawn out power. Duplication can only be performed once per mausoleum. Are you telling me that I can get both of the super cool things from Renala's soul? I've got the staff already, and I can get the sorcery? Oh, fuck yes. Yes. Holy shit. That's a hell of a mechanic. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that is... That is awesome. That is so awesome. Yep, and we want Renala's full moon. Pog. Oh, hey, there's a beach. Pog. So there's that tower I want to check out here. There's the beach I want to check out. Yeah, let's keep exploring this place. This place is some cool shit. Now we have a bunch of zombies combing the beach. Which is... A thing, I guess. By the way, can I just point out how every single beach in Dark Souls is a cliff? 
That's true, yeah. They all are, because you need you need a very clear point beyond which you will die. That's true, yeah, because if it's just... So they just, they're all cliffs. Every single one is a cliff. God damn, that's a lot of fucking zombies. Does anything happen if I kill them all? I mean, is it worth trying to kill all the zombies just to see what happens? Do you even need to ask? Uh, probably nothing, but can you imagine what how this is going to look? Oh shit. No! Fuck! Yeah, it doesn't seem like killing all these guys is doing anything, but... Okay, you know what? I'm going to convince myself there's a secret boss. A secret boss who only appears if you kill every single one of these guys. That's what's going to happen, and that's why we're doing this. There is a point in doing this, which is to fight the secret boss. You know, I'm going to be honest. I'm starting to get the sneaking suspicion that there isn't a super secret mini boss that only spawns when you murder all these zombies. What? I know. If I was from software, I absolutely would have put that in the game, but apparently they didn't. And I think that's just got to be an oversight on Miyazaki's part. I know. Uh, to be fair, I, th I don't think it's deliberate. I think they just forgot to put it in the game. Like, it's cl so clearly supposed to be here that, you know... Too busy putting in another poison swamp. Yeah, he was too busy putting in more poison swamps. He was like, shit! We forgot to put in the super secret zombie boss. Okay, um... I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little disappointed. No, I missed one! It's fine, I missed one, that's why. That's why, there's one over here. You can see, I missed one. This is the secret zombie who only spawns after you kill all the other zombies, and then you need to backtrack to find him, and then kill him, and then the secret boss shows up. Shit. Oh, no, there's more, there's more, there's more. Secret boss! Reveal yourself! Please! Ah, uh, you know what the problem is. I need to do it at night time. I need to kill all the zombies on the beach at night time. And then the secret boss will show up. Because it's a zombie boss, right? It's just like the death bird. The death bird only shows up at night time. So what we need to do is we need to go back, we need to rest, restore all the zombies past time until night time and then kill all the zombies on the beach and then we'll be able to get the secret boss okay by the way i don't think I i'm actually not going to kill all of them because as much as the bit is quite funny um this is tedious but i i was intrigued to see because the death bird showed up at night time it just feels like there should be something here um something other than just an army of zombies i was kind of hoping that coming here at night might trigger it but i guess no Sad times. That mausoleum is just dead, huh? Damn. Sorry, dude. I didn't mean to kill you. Yeah. I was just trying to help you by clearing the skull barnacles off your leg. How was I supposed to know that that's basically like your lungs? Did you kill this person? No, I tried to help him. Why? Oh, I was plugging up the holes in his lungs. <laughs> Tower of Return. Okay. Grandiose name. I like it. Mimic. Our first mimic. Of course not. Oh, another teleport trap. Interesting. Let's fucking go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get me. What? Oh, did I miss it? Yeah, you I missed it. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's go. I feel ready for this. Is it going to take me back to the same place, I wonder? Or is it a different mine? Because if it's another mine, I'm so down for it being another mine. Interesting. The royal capital? And I can't warp out. Can you not warp out? No, look. Where is this? Yeah, so this is just another one of the golems, right? I fought these guys before. This is nothing new. I don't know if I do more damage by two-handing, but we'll see. No, I don't. That was exactly the same. Got a couple of hits instead. There we go. Cool. There we go. Blessed Jew Talisman. Okay. What does that do? Slowly restores HP. Ooh. Damn, okay, that's a thing. Passive HP regen is never a bad thing. How do I get out then? Oh, I can warp from here. It's just that I have to kill the bot, the, the big guy, to be able to warp, right? Because I couldn't warp from here. Um, I guess I can now? Yeah, I think you couldn't warp. I think I couldn't warp until I killed him, right? Maybe. I'm pretty sure that was the way it worked. Okay, cool. That was fine. That was fine. 
Divine Bridge, so Lane Dell's all the way up there. That's good to know. Hey, cool. That was a minor detour. Oh, hey, a foot of another tree. That could be awesome. Because last time there was, um, there was some dope shit under the foot of a tree. Or near the, uh, the foot of, of one of these big trees. Oh my god, look at all these smashed up pots. Oh no, Alexander. Poor Alexander and friends. I mean, it's probably not him, but... Oh! Erd Tree Avatar. Okay. Is this the fucking Asylum Demon? Is this the Asylum Demon? <laughs> FromSoft, is this the fucking Asylum Demon? Are you making the Asylum Demon into another boss? Is four not enough for you? You, you met them in Dark Souls 1, twice. Three times, Duncan. Three times. Oh, yeah, three There's three times. of them. Then you met them. In Dark Souls 3 once. How they make you a grand return. But like, we couldn't design a Dark Souls without an Asylum Demon, could we? I'm like, I know this. I know that sprite. I know this moveset. <laughs> it is! The fucking asylum demon. I mean, they've okay. That's a little fancy of the asylum demon, to be fair. Oh, not that was a mistake. I can't believe they made the asylum demon into another fucking boss. I cannot believe that they were like, "Shit, we need more bosses for Elden Ring." They're like, ah, fuck, "Asylum demon, fuck it." <laughs> The good old fallback. Okay, Crimson Burst, Crystal Tear, and Opaline Bubble Tear. Those are some very grandiose sounding items. Significantly negates damage. Provides significant damage negation. Okay. Huh, sure. Gradually restores HP over time. Ooh. Those are some good options. Those are some really good options, actually. Can't fucking believe it, FromSoft. I can't fucking believe it. Another asylum demon. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The asylum demon set in a bar. <laughs> sort of thing you think. Of. <laughs> yeah, the Indeed asylum demon. demon's like, ah, I'm out of that game. And Miyazaki's just there, like, no. One last job. <laughs> Why? Why did they bring it back? You know what? I think that is probably a reasonable time to end the stream and uh, end the next video. I... Fucking from soft, man. Got through some good shit. Fought a load more bosses. Found a bunch of smithing stones. Generally had a good time. Um, if that's not enough for you, then I don't know what is.